Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, welcome. So as you can see by the title of the video, today we are doing a DIY accent wall. I see this wall every time I go on Pinterest and we've been talking about doing a accent wall in our basement for about a year now. It is Saturday. It's pretty late on Saturday. It's about 3 p.m. But y'all wants to get the stuff to do the accent wall today and wants to do the accent wall today. So we are going to head to Lowe's, get the supplies and paint that we need for the project, and we are going to bring you guys along. So for those of you who saw our bathroom makeover video, then you know the disaster that happened with the nail gun we used for that video. But I was able to get a new nail gun for Black Friday, so that is here, and that's what we're going to use and the height of the wall that we're going to do this on and honestly I'm not gonna lie we are very much so winging it because this was not a planned project so I pretty much just have a picture of what I want off Pinterest and I know I want the wall to be black and that's what we're using so I'll insert the picture here so you can see what my vision is we are going to figure it out and I'm sure that it's going to turn out beautifully so if you would like to see how we did our diy accent wall keep on watching the very first place that we went when we got into lowe's was the paint section like i stated before i knew that i wanted to paint the wall black i just wasn't sure exactly what color black so we came over and tried to find the perfect shade I actually didn't get a clip of the shade we ended up going with but the color we chose is Cracked Pepper by Valspar and we got it in flat. Here, this one. This one. So after we got the paint and the paint brushes that we were going to need we headed over to get the wood. This is the wood that we got and it's important to pay attention to the tag of whatever wood you are choosing and i'll let you know why later and we got 17 pieces of wood and they're one by two by eight feet long this is our wall before we got started and we removed everything except for the wall mount because that's something that needs to be flush against the wall so we decided to just build around it and i missed us nailing the first piece of wood to the wall but what we did because our wall is 15 feet long is keep one piece as it came eight feet long and cut the second piece seven feet long so that they both fit so the next step is to add in the vertical pieces and how we went about doing this is we measured the distance from the bottom of the top piece of wood to the top of the bottom piece of wood to see how long we needed each piece of wood to be. For our design we decided we wanted four columns so we needed five pieces of wood cut to this length. If you want five columns you'll need six pieces of wood and so on and so forth. So now to figure out how far apart each piece needs to be from each other, we took the total length of our wall, subtracted the length of each vertical piece, and divided that final number into four. So earlier I mentioned it's important to notate the tag of whatever type of wood you buy, and here's why. Even though we bought one by two pieces of wood, if you look at the tag, the actual length of them is only one and a half inches. So you wanna be sure that you're subtracting the right length or else your measurements will be off. So once we got all five pieces of wood up and it formed our four columns, now it's time to start working on the actual pattern we wanted to do. So for this, we pretty much just measured the length of each column, which for us was about four feet. And we cut each piece of wood at four feet on a 22 and a half degree angle. For the spacing of the rows, we used the same method as we did for the columns. So we measured the height 
of the column and then we subtracted the height of each piece of wood and then divided that final number by five because we were going to do five rows and whatever number we got is what we spaced each piece of wood apart. So now comes the fun part. It's time to paint. And my husband and I actually agreed that this was the worst part of the entire project. We first went in with a roller and did the wall. Then we went back in with a brush and did the corners and cracks of the wood. Then went back in with a roller and did the fronts of the wood. We did two coats and this is the final result. I absolutely love how everything turned out and I can't believe that we were able to complete this in just one night. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.